Andrew, when I try to think about uh, the existence of God or theology or the way of God, I try to do it in the most um, thoughtfully, analytic, rigorous way I can. I don't say that this, that's the only way to know. I know there are other ways to know, but the other ways, at least for me, uh, don't work. At least they don't work now. Mm -hmm. You have said that the, the, the principle of um, methodological naturalism, which is basically the scientific method in, in a sense, um, is uh, dangerous for a Christian to be involved with. Um, I'd like to understand why, because I, I actually, in my own thinking, like to use methodological naturalism to, to as a, uh, a very rigorous way of, uh, of dealing with, uh, with very complicated things. I'm, I'm, I mean a way of thinking, not, not, not an exclusion of things beyond the physical. So maybe we're saying some of the same things, but I'd like to understand why methodological naturalism as a way of thinking you think is dangerous for me. Good. So... Um so the particular issue that I'm interested in thinking about is whether the Christian should adopt methodological naturalism. And one of the things that makes this question very difficult to answer is methodological naturalism is one of these terms that people define in numerously, sure. numerous different ways. And naturalism is a term that people define in very, some very different ways. And so you get Christian versions of naturalism and Christian versions of methodological naturalism. And some of these versions um, I don't have much of a problem with. My, my concern is, is that if we think that naturalism um, is in some way incompatible with theism, and I think very often when a person is using the term naturalism, they're understanding something that is incompatible sure, sure. Um, with theism, there's a sense in which I don't think that a Christian should adopt that, even for the purpose of disciplinary method when they're um, committing themselves to scientific practice. And the reason I think that is because I think that for the Christian, um, their faith speaks to every facet of reality, everything that they know to, to, the, to the natural order that the sci scientist studies. And there is nothing about their faith that they need to bracket out for the sake of practicing science. science. Sounds like that would introduce a lot of bias. So I think the, la the majority of the time, it's not actually going to make any difference That's true. To, That's to scientific true. practice. Right. Um, in fact, I think it's almost never going to make a difference. And I think there's things that, as a Christian, I can em emphasize that will help me with the scientific method. And that will mean that the approach I'm taking looks very similar to that of the naturalist. So, for example, I, um, I recognize the hiddenness of God. So I recognize that I can't... Um, look at the natural world and point to sure, miracles. Sure, sure. Um, as a scientist, I think as a, as a scientist, I should just be using natural expl explanations to understand the natural order. Um, but I say that as a Christian, I don't say that as someone that needs to adopt naturalistic criteria in order to understand the natural order. And, but as a Christian, one thing that I think I can help me with the, um, the scientific task is I can really trust that there is um, an order to the world. This is a, a world that's been ordered by God. I can really trust that there's a re regularity to things, that there's not everything is just purely happening by chance. I think, and I think recognizing that helps me to trust that um, my scientific understanding of, in the world can have a consistency to it. Would you differentiate, in terms of your critique, methodological naturalism which is the way of doing stuff in, in, based on naturalistic or scientific principles versus ontological naturalism, which says that the root of all being must only be physical or natural. Because I would accept the former and deny the latter, or, or at least uncertain about the latter, whereas I'd be fairly certain about the former. Do you differentiate between the two? Yes, so I think we definitely have to differentiate between the two. Um, because a person that's committed to methodological naturalism can, um, can also believe in God. They can say that just for the purposes of being a scientist, I'm going to assume that everything that takes place within a natural order should be explained in natural terms. No. Um, and then they might say, um, but actually as a Christian, 
when I'm not doing science, I believe that um, God exists. Right. But, but for me as a Christian, I think there wants to be, I want there to be a, a consistency between one's metaphysic and their methodology. You, you know, I, I actually like that way of thinking, even though I'm, I, I think it's wrong. Uh, and I, I, I would argue with you, but I think it's a very important uh, consistency to, to explore. So I, I, I really like that because the standard approach is that, you know, you do science as a scientist and you don't think about that. that and there, there's this, uh, you have this dualistic ways of thinking. Yeah. Uh, and, you're, and you're trying to break that down. And so you shouldn't have a dualistic way of thinking. Um, so you, you, and so the consistency is always good that you have one way of thinking. You don't have to be schizophrenic. Um, but you have the, the big challenge of, of being able to uh, uh, protect the science against all sorts of uh, bogus explanations because you think you're trying to involve God in something or find God when th 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 there could be a very naturalistic. You might give up too soon if you, if you're, if you can uh, inject God in, into it because you've, you've rejected methodological naturalism. Good. So I think, again, there's Christian re reasons that I should not be injecting God in to understand um, the natural order. So I'm very nervous about natural theology, for example. I think there's ways in which, um, as a, a sinful human being, I, there's, there's a confusion to my thinking that stops me from being able to directly observe God at work in the world. Now, I recognize I, I believe in um, that scripture gives me a way to understand God's work in the world. So I think the witness of scripture um, allows me to recognize that Jesus Christ, that God rose Jesus Christ from the dead, um, that allows me to recognize that God became one with us in and through the incarnation. I, I believe that Jesus performed miracles. I believe that um, um, Jesus encountered Paul um, on the road to Damascus. So there's things I believe based on scripture that, I, that um, allows me to recognize that God is at work in the world. But I don't think um, as a sinful human being with my limited finite understanding that I, it, I ever have the right to say, look at the complexity of the eye and say, that must be down mm, to mm. God's miraculous activity. I just, I can't do that. So my resistance to natural theology, I think means that I'm not going to run into the, the problem of injecting God into my understanding of science whenever um, I'm stumped by a, a complexity that I can't immediately understand. So, so, so then why then do you, do you advocate that a Christian should not ad adopt methodological naturalism? What's the purchase? What's the gain of, 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 that, of that statement? Good. So my, my, my concern here is that I think when a, a Christian adopts methodological naturalism, to some people, and I've encountered this um, very often, there's a sense in which in order to do science, they've got to adopt um, a philosophical way of um, seeing the world, naturalism, um, that will systematize um, their, their scientific approach um, in such a way that they're gonna be able to understand the natural order rightly. So rather than saying that as a Christian, you know, I can allow my Christian faith to shape my methodology to understand um, the natural world in a better way, I instead turn to a metaphysical position such as naturalism that I don't believe in. And I want there to be this consistency between my Christian understanding and my understanding of the natural war world.